A herd of horses climbs a ridge, and the ground vibrates with energy. Here's an interesting fact. Horses actually evolved in North America, spread across the continent, and then disappeared here long before Europeans brought domesticated horses back from Europe. Many people mistakenly believe that horses were foreign to this continent, but the truth is they were originally from here. Like students who traveled away for a time and then went extinct locally, their features tell us how well they adapted to their environment. High crown molars helped them eat tough grasses. Long legs allowed them to run long distances, and living in herds kept them safe from predators. The mammoth steppe and nearby Great Plains provided rich, nutritious food during the cold, dry seasons. Horses survived the winter by cracking through thin, crusty snow to find food, while spring brought a fresh burst of grasses and wildflowers. Predators like American lions, wolves, and short-faced bears took advantage of the horses' mistakes at river crossings and on icy ground. But their disappearance wasn't sudden. As the ice melted, the climate changed, leading to wetter, softer snow and more shrub-covered areas, making it harder for horses to find food in the winter. Longer muddy seasons made it difficult for them to move around. Humans added to their challenges by hunting them at choke points, like mountain passas and river mouths, using stone weapons. In some areas horses vanished earlier, in others they survived longer, showing regional differences rather than a complete extinction across the continent. Looking at ancient DNA traces, we can see horses traveled from North America to Eurasia through Beringia and later became domesticated over there. When Spanish horses arrived in the 16th century, the Great Plains welcomed horses that were built for grazing, speed, and alertness. Just like their ancient relatives, nature hadn't forgotten their role, and the people remembered their value once again as horses returned to their lives. Imagine a chilly January wind blowing across the buffalo grass, with a line of Ice Age horses moving carefully, their ears swiveling to catch every sound. Now, picture that same ridge centuries later, where a Comanche rider kicks up dust as he rides through, following in the tracks of the wild horses that once roamed the land. The connection here isn't about foreign animals. It's about a lost part of the ecosystem that got a second chance. Thank you for joining me on this ride. If you found this fascinating, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment about the next Ice Age mystery you'd like us to explore.